streams of color. Art full of life, built from the ground up. We're in Cornville, Arizona, on the banks of Oak Creek. Welcome to the world of Elefante. This is my home. It's called the Hippodome, and it's one of the buildings that Michael and I constructed over the 30 years we've lived here. We moved here in our leaky tent and our leaky truck, and uh, we started a whole brand new life with a garden and a place to paint. Sit down with Lita Levant Khan, and you will hear a love story. We had no plan. We've never had a plan for anything in our lives. It's the love story of her late husband, Michael, and this land known as Elefante. One building got started after another. The little one you saw outside called the palace. We lived in that for the first eight years. And what materials came our way? It wasn't that we'd go to the hardware store or the lumber store and say, let's buy something for an eight by 10. It was whatever came our way decided what it was we were going to build. We let nature show us the way each time. We're in the building that's called Elefante, and it's the first one that Michael and I constructed. The glass actually in that wall and the wall behind me over here came from um, the hospital. When the, when the uh, Cottonwood Hospital was being redone, they took their old windows down. Years of evolving art that turned into a way of life, now being shared with the world. When the people come, they are blown away. They walk in, oh wow. And it stimulates the creativity. Some people think, well, I couldn't live that way. It's not about that, it's about the art. Everything Michael touched turned into art. As Michael continued to paint, a home for his work was needed and Pipe Dreams was born. Today, the sunken labyrinth houses his impressive paintings. But Lita hopes to find a new place for Michael's work. They all need a home because um, there are too many critters here who are interested in chewing on canvas and the temperature is not controlled. So I'm looking for a permanent home for Michael's paintings where they can be seen and enjoyed by a lot of people. I would hope that a major or minor museum would say, wow, we'd love to have these in our permanent collection. So much to see. To soak in the experience of Elefante is to not only be stimulated through sight, but also in your soul. I would say 99% of the comments say that a visit to Elefante has changed their lives in one way or another, mostly a positive way. People go home and say, oh, I can paint. Oh, I can play with rocks, and they can. And that's what I'd love them to come away with now. Know that they've got creativity inside of them, just like everybody does. It's nurturing to me. It makes me feel, well, it's, it's been worth it. It's been worth it.